according to all the data that we are seeing and talking to also market participants, there is a sense, there is an indication that food price volatility has been increasing over the last few years. Uh, and how to deal with this volatility? Well, there are, I think there is one aspect is to try to reduce the volatility. And another aspect is to help producers and consumers deal with prices when they are volatile, when they move around. The first, uh, the, the, the first line of attack on food price volatility, in my view, is to reinvest in agriculture, is to uh, uh, help uh, countries and farmers enhance their productivity. Over the last 20 or 30 years, we have reduced investment in agriculture. The result has been that productivity growth, if you, if you look at the major cereals, uh, the growth in productivity of cereals in the 70s, for example, was uh, more than 3% a year. The growth of the productivity of cereals now is about 1.2 or 1.3% a year. Uh, demand has been growing steadily at about 2% a year. So you have demand that is growing faster than productivity, and the result is, is that markets are tighter and tighter. When you are in a tight market, the first, any sh small shock, say due to weather or so on, since you, the market is tight, stocks are low, a shock will have a, a bigger impact on prices than if the, the, the uh, production was high and you had big stocks. In many cases, uh, when there is a shock, uh, prices are going to go high. But if exporters also block exports at the same time, prices go higher. And we've seen that in 2008. Uh, so when there is uh, so uh, uh, policies, say on export restrictions, policies on uh, 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 biofuels, when you when you are uh, when ca some countries are subsidizing biofuels, biofuel production, say using maize or corn as an input, you're 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 subsidizing, you're putting quotas to produce more to use more of maize to produce biofuels. At the same time, there is a shock, there is increased demand for food around the world. Obviously, that will create more volatility. Now, so policies uh, need to be coordinated among countries so that th the type of reactions that create more volatility through export restrictions, bi biofuel mandates, and so on, can somehow uh, be uh, limited. The, the General view, what we are seeing is that the deregulation in the futures markets over the last, uh, I would say, since, since the 80s, have gone so far, has, has gone so far that it is crea uh, creating more volatility. Now, futures markets do not create price shocks, at least not, not what, I've, what I've been looking at. Every time we've seen a shock in 2008, there was, at 2007 and 2008, there were, there were droughts. In 2010, there were the droughts and fires in Russia. So uh, the shock has always started from the real sector. What, can, what futures markets can do is amplify the impact of the shock as, as more people uh, try to speculate on where the price is going. So uh, 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 some better regulation of future markets is, is, are certainly needed. Now, I say better uh, because you do not want to over-regulate either. You want to regulate to reduce the volatility, but you don't want to over-regulate because you don't want to kill the futures market. The futures market is important for farmers because th that's how they can hedge risks. Uh, this is a global challenge when food prices are volatile all around the world. Of course, it's the poor and the most vulnerable who are hurt most, but policies in one part of the world affects policies elsewhere. Volatility uh, is a feature of all markets, especially of all agricultural markets. So what you need to do is also put in place systems to help people, especially the most vulnerable people, deal with price shocks. Uh, so you need to work on putting in place safety nets for consumers. Uh, uh, you need to uh, uh, provide instruments for farmers to hedge their risks. And at the macro level, you need to provide also financial instruments for, for countries 
to deal with macroeconomic shocks due to food price volatility.